is a well-known treat. It's called a chocolate orange, and you can see it on the left. On the right are the real things, pieces of chocolate and an orange. Now, I'm going to show you what to do with both of these to make it into something fun. First of all, I'm just going to show you a simple orange salad by peeling an orange and a satsuma and getting rid of all the skin, and there you've got something lovely. Now I'm going to turn to the chocolate, and this is what we're going to make. Dark chocolate mixed with cream and decorated with chocolate swirls. To make the pots, you need equal quantities of plain dark chocolate and cream. I've used single cream, but you can also use a plant-based cream which makes it vegan. The quantities are 4 ounces, about 125 mils or 125 grams. Here's how you melt the chocolate. You break it up into small pieces and then you microwave it. Now, don't be surprised at this. You pop it in the microwave with absolutely no water and you cook it for 30 seconds, stir it a bit and then take it out and maybe another 30 seconds and you'll see that it has some lumps but a lot of it is hot and melted. Now, if you keep stirring it, it will be completely smooth and this is what you need for both the pots and the twirls that you're going to make. Now that you've got it really smooth, you'll be ready to add the cream. Now, I'm doing it with Alpro this time, just to show that it works equally well with either the single cream or the plant-based cream. Now, you start stirring in a little bit of it. Don't throw it all in at once and you'll see that it makes lovely white swirls in what you're doing. And just keep going, gradually adding all of it. And what you have to do is get all the white stuff completely incorporated. Now I've speeded it up a bit here. You don't have to do it quite as fast as this, but what you get from a mixture, which is two colored, you get a wonderfully dark one. And this is it, this is your dessert. No sugar, just dark chocolate and cream and you then you pour it into your pots. I've used quite small ones here, you can use bigger ones, and it is a wonderful, lovely treat. Coming up next is the swirls. To make the pretty swirls that go on top of the pots, this is what you do. You put the hot melted chocolate into a forcing bag or a piping bag, but what I'm using here is a rather old fashioned gadget that does the same thing, but you just squeeze it from the top. It's not difficult, you just need a little bit of practice just making the swirls and squeezing them out onto foil. The foil has been on a tray in the freezer for half an hour. You can see how easy it is to get them off. The decorated chocolate pots are ready now for the orange salad. The oranges have to be peeled so there's absolutely no white pith showing at all. You just need a sharp knife to do this. Then cut them down into slices. Satsumas or clementines, often called easy peelers, don't need this treatment. Just slice them up. Arrange them on a plate. Now, that's what I call the chocolate orange. 